I start off looking extra basic and I'm going to prime my eyes using this uh, concealer. It's my Kat Von D concealer in Deep 34. Neutral my color and then I'm going to set it with a face powder um, that's a little lighter than my color. So this is going to be another neutral look as usual and I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hill The Artist Palette and this is the color Dusty Rose and I'm going to apply that into my crease and use it as a transition color. It's like a mauve um, neutral, kind of pink but not really. So I'm going to apply that into my crease and blend it out. <music> I'm going to take one of my favorite colors that I use in a lot of my videos. This is peanut butter in my semi-sweet chocolate palette. And I'm going to apply that into my outer crease first and then start to uh, blend it over. And I'm applying it a little lower than my crease and a little bit lower than that dusty rose color. Um, so yeah, I'm just sweeping that back and forth. <music> And then next I'm going to go back into my Semi Sweet Chocolate Palette and I'm going to use, mix these two colors. Um, I think the first color I used was Noose and then the it's a pinkish color that is called Nougat. And I'm going to apply that all over my lid. Um, I was hoping that it looked more pink but the Nougat, it didn't really look like anything. <laughs> But I went back and just applied more nougat all over my uh, lid. So I was going for a pinky kind of look here. And then I'm just going to go back and blend in more of the Dusty Rose and more of the peanut butter. I want to take this ColourPop color. It is in the color uh, Bubbly. And it is just like a pink shimmery color. And I'm going to take my finger and apply that all over my lid just to add some sparkle and a little more color. I know these makeup gurus on IG, they love them a nice sharp uh, winged eyeliner, but the spirit of patience was not on my heart this morning and so I'm just going to line my lash, uh, my yeah, just my lash line. Do a nice thin little strip, nothing too dramatic. And then I'm going to use these Sephora lashes and apply those. They're pretty dramatic. I'll leave uh, the name of them down below. So now onto my face as usual, priming with my Becca Evermatt Poreless, and then I'm using my Kat Von D concealer and applying that under my eyes, and then I'm going to blend that out. <music> more of that same concealer apply it on my chin around my mouth on my cupid's bow down the bridge of my nose and on my forehead and then i'm going to blend that out as well and then to set my concealer i'm going to use my ben eye in the color topaz i did not use foundation in this look um the weather's kind of warming up where I'm at but I just haven't been feeling foundation lately so um, just want to use concealer and powder To blend that out and to add a nice finish to the rest of my face, I'm going to use this Cover FX Mineralized Foundation, press foundation, the name will be down below, but I started using this instead of my MAC powder and I've been loving it so far, it gives me a nice little finish. And then for blush, I'm using, I don't know what I used, it was either Cocoa or Cinnamon by NYX. Um, I haven't been feeling blush like that either. Um, but next, I'm going to add some highlight and I'm using Glow Up by ColourPop. I dab it on with my finger first and then I apply some more on and blend it out with a brush. And then 
I'm also going to apply it to my cupid's bow and a little on the tip of my nose. And then also I'm going to use um, this NARS, uh, what's this called? Albatross. I remember when this used to be really popular and I haven't used it in a long time. So I was like, let me add a little albatross on top of that. And so yeah, that's what I did. Now onto the lips. I was going to do a bold lip, but then I felt like it was too much with the romper I had on. So I'm going to line my lips with MAC uh, Cork, one of my favorite brown lip pencils. And then I'm going to fill in my lips using NYX a thousand years it's like a grayish color I'm gonna fill in my lips with that and then I'm gonna take the Sephora iridescent lip gloss and apply that all over guys and that is the final look this look is really simple um, yeah so let me know what you guys think also if you want to see a tutorial on these breaks then make sure you thumbs up or let me know in the comment section and I will see you all next video Bye.